simply because love covers a multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4 8. This Bible verse not only describes me as a person, but it can also describe my love for my faith that I have. My first object, which you can't really see, is a Kairos cross. Has anyone ever seen mm -hmm. this before? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So for those of you who went to a Catholic high school, I went to Resurrection College Prep. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's an all-girls Catholic high school, and you probably think, oh my god, nuns. Like, this is insane. No, it's really not that strict. And you have to go on a Kairos retreat your senior year of high school. And what a Kairos retreat is, is it's, depending on where you go to school, it's a three to five day retreat where about 30 to 40 students in your grade are sent to Wisconsin or Indiana. They don't really tell you. They're kind of just like, hey, you're going on this retreat, so be ready, you have to go to graduate. And you're kind of like, okay. For me, I've been on retreat before because I'm Catholic, so I kind of knew the whole idea of what was going to happen. But I've never experienced anything like it. So this is my small group. Within <laughs> the 30 kids, yeah, well, there's Kairos Olympics and we won, so we're doing our victory dance. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> but out of the 30 people, you get paired with people who the school knows you're not friends with, you probably never talked to in your life. You just pass them in the hallway and you're trying to be like, okay, I've seen this person before. You barely even know their name. And because of this retreat, these people are now people who I will probably be friends with for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. You go and you say stories about things that have happened in your life that maybe you don't want to talk to anyone about, and you talk about your faith in God. Obviously not everyone in a Catholic high school believes in God. So there were some people that were like, oh, it's kind of not my thing, versus other people who have been going to church their whole life. And so when I look at this class, it reminds me of how you will see people in your everyday life in college, in high school, and you will not say one word to them. But because of my school and my faith, these people are now a second family to me that I can go to for anything. And that I know they'll understand. And it's crazy that you think three days with people, you want to connect with other people on that level. But because of Kairos, I did. My second object is my pair of dance shoes. And yes, those are my feet. Lovely. <laughs> I picked a pair of dance shoes because I've been dancing since the age of two, and I started off at a park district, but then now I am at Picturesque Different Dance Studio, and it has completely changed my life. Without dance, I have no idea where I would be. Dance is a part of my escape to reality when things do get hard. And not only do I dance there, I work there as well. I teach kids, like I said in my first speech, I teach kids from the ages of 6 to 14, and obviously it's difficult sometimes, not the easiest ages of kids. You have the squirmy ones that are just like, Miss Haley, like every two seconds, and they're insane, versus the 14-year-olds that will be like, Miss Haley, like this crap happened at school today, and I'm like, okay, well, like I'm still your teacher, like as much as I'm close to your age. And I guess the most significant thing about these shoes is, as I get older, the design of shoe is never going to change. Yes, the size of the shoe will change. The difference, like there will be holes in the shoes, but there are always something that would have remained with me since I was two. And I take several styles of dance. I take tap, jazz, ballet, lyrical, hip hop, modern, pretty much everything. And it's also important to me because it's something that I've had forever, and I think it's one of my best traits about me. It's hard to pick out a best trait about yourself a lot of the times. A lot of the time, because you, when, you, when someone says, tell me what you like about yourself, it's not the easiest thing to talk about. So I guess this is probably the number one thing I like about myself, is because I never gave up on it. My third object is my St. Christopher medal that I got from my boyfriend, Brandon. And that's him, he's a nice guy. <laughs> uh, Brandon and I have been dating, it'll be four years in March. And he's not only my boyfriend, he's my best friend. He's been my best friend since I was 15 years old, which is crazy to think about because it's such a long time. <laughs> but he got this St. Christopher medal when he was in eighth grade from his grandma. And his grandma was his whole world. And she was like the most religious person ever to him. And he's not, he's an atheist now. So it's kind of, it's different with him because of her passing away. And... He got this medal from her 
And so right before he left for boot camp, he's in the Navy, he's stationed in Japan. So yes, the 16 hour time difference is very difficult. When it's night here, it's day there. When it's day there, it's night here. He's a whole day ahead of me. And, but right before boot camp, he gave this to me. And for those of you that don't know, St. Christopher is a saint of protection. And he said, this will be my way of showing you that I'm protecting you, even though I'm thousands of miles away from you. And for me, that's a big deal because if I were to give someone something that my grandparents gave to me, that is huge, like, especially since his grandma was his everything. And so I carry this with me all the time. It's in my wallet right now, or I'll put, I'll hang it up in my car. So yes. And I guess you could say all three objects do entirely complete me because for those of you who don't know me, now you know I'm a dancer, but I am really passionate about my faith and everything, and I love all the people in my life. Thank you.